guys, let's see if the MTB box came in. Oh yeah. What is up guys? Ethan Brooks fishing here. And today is a halfway decent day of, of like, it's good weather. It's not freezing cold again, which is awesome. So guys, today probably from the little clip that you saw. There's my cat, probably can't see him. Yeah, this is the MTV Pro Box. All right, um, thanks. Um, today, we were gonna be opening this, like, I just got home, like literally 10 minutes ago. And I went to the mailbox and grabbed my tripod, and now I'm unboxing it for you. So I have no idea what is inside this box. No clue. But today's cutting utensil is going to be my mom's car keys because I was too excited to go grab a knife. So if he's not, if he's, there we go. There's one slit. All right, guys. She's open. Okay, guys, so I'm not even going to look. Looky there, guys. All right, so right here, we have already opened it. So I'm not going to look at none of the baits. I'm just going to try to find the, the Dibble Digest. Move it out of the way. So right here is our sticker of the month. It looks like, like a digital bass. I'm out of frame. That's an awesome sticker. I like that. It's simple but cool design. And from the, like, from there you can see it, but when you're close up, you can't really tell that it's like a bass, which is pretty cool. Anyway, I want to step back just so I can read the dibble. Okay, it's just called the dibble now. I still call it the digest, but it's all good. So, here it is. Here's our price card. The wind's kind of bad too, which is not the best, but it's all good. So... So today, so this month's tips are how to win your next tournament with a glide bait. I don't fish tournaments, but I can still read that, try to get some knowledge if I ever do fish tournaments. If I can open this. Three top waters to throw during the spawn. So that's pretty good. And fish and lay downs and log jams for bass. So those are three, those are honestly three really good pre-spawn slash pond. Um, little, little articles that they put in, but anyways, here is the price, like foldable thing. And real quick, it just talks about there goes my sticker over there, that's not good. Um, what's your favorite word for a big bass? And it gives you like some nicknames and a new way to rig your paddle tails, which is like your swimming flukes. But guys, I'm not, I'm not wasting any more time looking for these baits. So the first bait is the Bagley Pro Sunny B, um, no, the Pro Sunny B Twin Spin, twelve ninety nine is what it retails for, and there it is, guys. So there it is, right there. Pretty sick bait. I'm actually gonna open this just to get a better look at the paint job. And basically, what it is it is a crankbait. Move my hand. It's a little crankbait right here. And with it, it has these little spinning, so it causes just a little bit more commotion in the water. And also, it leads out with a red treble hook. And if you don't know what that really does, it can sometimes show, like, y'all know blood's red. So, like a, a dying bait fish. The fish can see that color and maybe think it's like blood or something. I don't know how it works. I preferably don't actually fish with red treble hooks, but that doesn't mean nothing. So, there is the... Bagley's Pro Sunny B Twin Spin. That's a um, tongue twister right there. Next up is the Biospawn Exo Swims. Now, guys, if you don't know, I'm pretty sure Biospawn is actually one of their newest products. This is the four inch Exo Swim. And from the looks of it, it looks like a shad color, which is awesome because a bunch of my lakes that I'm around, Harrison Bay, Watts Bar, all that, the uh, main forge is geezer shad slash shad and some minnows and all that. So yeah, guys, that is actually a sick little bait, a brand new um, product from um, Biospawn. I keep on saying, um, and I love Biospawn. I love using their stuff. I've got some stuff in the past from them, from other boxes. And just overall, Biospawn makes great quality baits. So 
Go check them out if you've never heard of them. Next up is the Stickies Spinnerbait Trailer Hooks. What's cool about this is, guys, that these are my first ever um, Stickies Hooks, which is a company that I'm pretty sure has partnered with Mr. Tackle Box, and they make hooks that go suited well for their baits. So we're just gonna pop this um, seal open and look at these trailer hooks. Now when you hear trailer hooks, I get an idea what, what else is gonna be in the box. So I'm guessing there's a spinner bait in the box. But there it is guys. It comes with just one little trailer hook. I'll try to get a close up on that. Has the end on it. I guess you just puncture the hole right here. I, I can feel like that rubber on it. So I guess you just puncture the hole for it. And yeah, nothing else to say about that. And after getting the Stickies um, trailer hook, you get the Catch Co. Spinnerbait. So here it is, guys. This is the Catch Co. Spinnerbait. This is a 3 8 ounce mustad hook. And we're just going to... Oh, I'm not going to pop this open. Oh, never mind. Here we go, guys. I think I had to rip it. That's my fault. So we're just going to slide this spinnerbait out. Oh wow, it's stapled, that's why. I feel kind of stupid now. Just gonna rip that off. So guys, from the looks of it, this looks like a very qu good quality spinnerbait. It retails for $5.99. And I, keep, I always forget to do this in my video. The trailer hook costs 99 cents. The Exo Swims retail for $6. And I already set the price for the, the weird crankbait. But from the looks of it, you have a small golden willow leaf blade and then you have your um, original like silver willow leaf blade and that with that I honestly will show is another shad pattern I can see in the future me actually throwing one of these little four inch um, paddle tails on this and it basically just it can show like a resemblance of a shad or like a tiny group of shad and these are really good for the pre-spawn when the fish are moving up and they're trying to get big bellies so yeah guys nothing else, much to say about that next up is the big bites bait limit maker now i'm pretty sure it's this right here retails for two dollars and 35 cents looks like a sample bag and from the looks of it it actually i don't know guys um just pop this open now from the looks of it i can see that this being used in a different couple ways and the main way i see it is actually a drop shot now i don't fish drop shots that much and it has a a weird smell I didn't mean to even smell it honestly it's just a it looks like a drop shot bait or you can put it like on a trailer but I preferably see this as a drop shot bait I might be wrong and if you know what this is or if you ever use this or if you have a box for this month let me know what that is because I really don't know but that's a really cool bait this is my first ever bag of baits from Big Bite Baits but I know they make quality good soft plastics next up is the Lucky John Chunk Tail so I'm pretty sure this is it right here. And basically what this looks like is, is kind of like a, a grub, if I'm not mistaken. So we're just gonna take one of these out. Oh yeah, so this is like a really good finesse presentation. I can see this being thrown on a really light shaky head or your finesse, a good palm bait too. Some very strong scenting baits. Wow, that's, I'll get a close up on that right there. Can't see it, it's really another shad color. And I can see this bait, if I do, I can see me throwing it on beds, or throwing it on like on a shaky head, or just fishing some smaller ponds. I can honestly see this going into good play for that. And next is the bait that I saw as soon as I opened the box. It is the Castatic, the Boy Ducket BD Trank Bait. Now, if you don't know who this is, this is Boy Ducket, if I'm positive, He's a very well-known man, uh, making very good quality baits, and he's also a very good fisherman. Now, from the looks of this crankbait, guys, oh my goodness, that is a very, very detailed, but also very big crankbait. Now, I don't see me throwing this in the ponds, but I do see me throwing this on the boat with my boy, like, if I fish with my friends. Good rattling, I can see this honestly being a really good bait very big bait though so that's crazy that's honestly a very big crankbait but it dives for the six feet so yeah slip that back into the package if i can I'm making this really really difficult right now 
All right, guys. So the final thing in the box is these Owl's Goldfish hook bonnets. And I already know what these are. Nothing much to say, but I'll just open one just to show y'all if you don't know what they are. And I'll actually show an example. So, here you have these little green little plastic things, and there goes a the wrapper. Basically what you do is, is, let's just get out the, since it's already almost out, the boy duckets crankbait. All you have to do from positive is just slide these onto each of your hooks right here. And basically what it's supposed to do is, is keep, so, okay guys, so these hooks are actually just a tad bit too big. So I might have to get some bigger size um, hook protectors or these are hook bondants. So I might have to get some bigger bondants, I guess you can call them that, because these hooks on these ducket series is honestly a very big, so anyways, I'm just talking to myself right now. We're gonna get out the, the tail swimmer again. And all you have to do, and I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken, you just slide that on and boom guys there it is it keeps your hooks protected and it keeps you protected on the boat or like if you're traveling in the car that just keeps your hooks and yourself protected so you don't get a hook in your leg or something but yeah guys so i'm just going to grab the tripod real quick and yeah guys so that is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed the box I enjoyed it. The slam will hopefully be coming soon. I haven't done an MTV slam yet, but I will probably do an MTV slam when I'm on a boat again, because from what I can tell, I fish way better on a boat. And I'm not like the best, but I can see most of these baits that I did get are gonna be more effective in deeper water, just, just because of the sizes and some of the stuff. But guys, you never know. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Back-to-back -back uploads. I uploaded yesterday, but I'm gonna upload again today just because I couldn't wait to open that box. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, tight lines, and thanks for watching.